My name is Aiden Hill. I'm an outfielder at P27 Academy in the class of 2022. Committed to Virginia Commonwealth, and this is a day in my life. I got into baseball at the age of, let's say, probably six. Um, my dad influenced me to start playing the most. Uh, we started a travel team from like our hometown. We were pretty good from like six to 12. And then, fun fact, I actually wanted to quit when I was like seven, uh, but he didn't let me um, because I had just quit football the year before. Um, and so he was like, you're not quitting any more sports. And uh, kind of glad I didn't quit now because I'm going to college for it, but um, yeah, we, um, we basically started as a hometown team, and then after 12 years, we started getting more serious, and now we're here. So. What made me pick VCU is I just felt such a family vibe from them. Uh, I could tell that they cared about me, not just as a player, but like as a person. Um, and you can't ask for more than that. Um, and if they had nice facilities, they, they had a great year last year. Um, so I knew they were a program that was, you know, doing doing good and trying to, you know, rise up and compete with like Power 5 schools. So I just felt it was the right fit. With them, I with VCU, I actually um, they they started recruiting me after I played a terrible game. I went 0 for two, 0 for three, with two strikeouts, and my coach said, "Hey, call them. They want to hear from you." And I called them, and they said they're interested, um, even after seeing that terrible game that I just played. And then after that, I went to um, we had a tournament at their place, and I did really good there. Then I had the PBR Futures games, and I did really good there, and that kind of sealed the deal. So then they had the offer ready, but um, they didn't like like push us on it. Um, they kind of gave us time. They were like, "We have the offer ready, but you know we'll wait until you're ready." And then we were ready to hear, and then so that was on the table for like two, two or three weeks, and then I just decided to commit there.
Um, I don't think there's any pressure being committed D1. Um, I think, to me, my dad told me pressure is self-inflicted. So, I mean, if you think there's pressure, obviously there's going to be pressure. But if you just go out and, you know, do all that you can do and that's all you all, all you worry about, like, that's all you can control. So, I mean, if you just focus on that, like, there's no such thing as pressure. Come on, come on, come on. My greatest strength is definitely my hitting um, and my size. Um, I love the weight room. Um, I hit balls. I, I love I love hitting. Uh, I would say I, something I need to work on is definitely my arm. Um, it's kind of I, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just average. Uh, I definitely like to get my arm strength up. Um, we throw a 90 before I graduate. Um, so. Top three favorite players in the league. I definitely say number one, Mookie Betts. Um, he's kind of like my height, my weight uh, range, um, and he just balls out wherever he goes. He's extremely athletic and he's an outfielder. Um, number two, Juan Soto. He he plays for the Nats. They're my favorite team because I'm from Maryland, um, and he can just hit. And he's so like aggressive in the box. He's like passive aggressive, so he'll attack you know, when he needs to, and then he'll lay off of things. He has such a good eye. Um, and my third favorite would probably have to be probably Lindor, just because uh, he plays the game with flair, and um, he's a great shortstop. Uh, I feel bad for him because he's not having a great year in the Mets, uh, in his first year at the Mets, but um, he's still a great player, so. My favorite baseball memory is definitely playing with my, my team. We were from, we were all from Maryland. We were all like a hometown team, small team. Um, and we went to Cooperstown when we were 12 and we ended up winning the whole thing. My dad was a coach and we just stormed the field together and that was just electric as a 12 year old to win a tournament where there's like a hundred teams. It was just crazy. When I'm walking up to the play, I'm just thinking attack, like just attack a ball that is my pitch. Um, cause I, I need to go having confidence cause if you go up doubting yourself or thinking I don't want to strike out, then you're, you might strike out. And that's just, it's not a good approach to have. You have to make sure you're thinking positive. Um, and when you go there thinking positive, there's good things are bound to happen. So. I just try to stay confident and uh, make sure I'm that player that you know wants to see strikes and thinks. I'm thinking if he if he puts a ball over the player, I'm gonna kill it. For uncommitted players, I would just say keep working hard um, and. Don't compare yourself to other players, because I made that mistake a lot when I was when I was little. Other be players who were like six four and two two thirty, hitting bombs, and I'd be worried like, when am I gonna get committed if I'm five nine, one hundred eighty pounds? But I would say stop comparing yourself to other other players. Focus on yourself and try to find players that are kind of like your size, like players that are already successful that are your size, um, and then just try to be like them and like. They made the path so you can walk on it. So, you know, just take advice from them and follow them. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, you're going to hit some bombs in the inner Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. So, we started the day at the cages, getting some work in off the tees, some front toss, uh, some overhand throws. Then we got a quick lift in. Then we came to the field, did um, pop fly communication over here. Bun defenses and uh, first and thirds over here, and actual bunning over here, and that's a day in my life. Mm -hmm.